Well, I don't know whether you can hear it or whether you can see it, but it's just started hailstoning. But uh, anyway, we're out here in the wood, and I've got three main missions this afternoon. One is to collect rabbit droppings. I've got a little container here. The other is to collect uh, pine sap or pitch pine, if I can find any. For which I've got another little container here. And the third is to get some charcoal, if I can find any. <laughs> for, which, for which I have a third container here. But uh, you can see the state of the place. It's it's just a it's more like a lake than a wood. And the dog does love the water. Right, well you can see up there on the trunk where that broken off branch sticks out. There is a big gob of pine resin and it, in fact it's been dripping down I've known about that up there for a long time and it's been dripping down over the months and dripping down and dripping down that looks like bird muck but it's actually the pine resin so I'm going to gather some of that into one of the pots probably see in there we've got quite a bit of resin probably needs cleaning up a little bit but uh, that's enough to be going on with anyway so next one of the rabbit droppings and the charcoal There we go, look, under this ash tree, some ch this, this tree's actually been burnt down. There was a park bench here, but uh, somebody used the park bench to burn the tree down. But there's charcoal on the underneath of that, and there's a few bits of charcoal kicking about, so we'll get a bit of charcoal off here, and that'll be the charcoal sorted.
Right, so that's more than enough charcoal in there. So we've just got the rabbit droppings to get now. You can see plenty of rabbit prints in the snow, but no droppings. There is one place where there might be, or the, uh, well there's plenty around here, it's just you can't see them, they're buried. But uh, there's one place where I might see them and that's in the, uh, oh there we go, there we go, there's some rabbit droppings there. Not many, but a few. There we go. So we want them. These are these are very fresh. These rabbit droppings. I'd <laughs> I much prefer some not fresh rabbit droppings. But we'll take them in case we don't get any more. But I'm sure we will get some more. We want some older ones, really, dried out ones. But obviously, we're not going to find uh, dried out ones here because they'll be well under the snow. Well, we're certainly having a cold snap in the UK. This is just the local field. <laughs> the the ice is about one and a half inches thick, but the water underneath it is has drained away. So it's just collapsed, and I can't see anybody's footprints in it, other than the rabbits. But there must have been somebody over this at some stage to smash it like this I know it's still freezing because the dog noticed some pigeons mucking about in one of our gutters and we figured out what they were doing was trying to find water so we put a bowl of water out for them and the water was tepid, but within a couple of hours it had frozen over. So we've now got more water on the stove to keep replacing it. The dog's got a football. She's just learning about going through ice. She's not fully clued up on that one yet. Some places the roads are just ice. But we haven't had any snow for quite a while now, so it's actually starting to evaporate. <laughs> 